I'm going to show you how to apply groups to the individual classes. On the left hand side, you'll see the classes tab. You'll want to click on that. And from here, over on the right hand side, you'll see a listing of all your classes and you will scroll down to the one that you want if you can't see it. And for this example, we'll go ahead and use Math 1. You want to change from the main screen to the standard screen. And from there, you'll see that you have a standards group drop down menu. And this is where you are going to choose the group that is associated with the class that you have chosen. So we'll go ahead and choose Math 1. And once you do that, it opens up the parameters for the standards and you can change these to meet your requirements for your school. So the first first area here in the parameters is minimum number of assignments required before a standard can be considered met. And what that means is this is the least number of assignment of assignments that must be linked to a given standard before that standard qualifies as being met in the class. The second area is the minimum percentage average required for a student to meet a standard. And that means a student's grade average for the linked assignments must be at this percentage or higher for the student to be considered meeting that standard. The third area says at least a percentage of students must average 85% or higher in the standard for it to be considered met by the class. Now you can change this percentage. Let's go ahead and just change it to 70. And what that means is 70% of the students must average 85% or higher in the standard for it to be considered met by the class. So this is for the actual class, and this is for the student. And once you change that, it is just for this class. It is not for a default overall. It will just be changed for this class. And we'll go over in a later video on how to change it as a default for the actual standard. Now the next area is a standard's percentage average is you have two choices based on the most recent associated assignments and here you can choose that number which is up here and the second choice is based on all associated assignments. Now if your school or class prefers to have only the most recent assignments applicable to the student's performance in the standard you use the minimum assignment count otherwise the average will be based on all associated assignments and that would be the second choice if you want to do that on all of the assignments. This last area is the options for the standards report card. And here you can choose to show overall class grade, you can show category grade, show subcategory grade, and show the standard grade. Now keep in mind, these only affect what shows on the report card. The teacher always can see the averages for any of these levels using the standards met report, which we'll discuss in another section. Then once you've made all your adjustments in these in this area in the parameters area you go ahead and make sure and click save and that will save everything for that group for that class